Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Coffee Podcast. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it now, podcast. I don't know, just sounds cooler. And on a podcast, you can get away with more than you can a video. Because I'm fired up this morning. Fired up. Did drink coffee. I could stand to be a little hotter. I goofed around too long this morning. Hold on, I need to get my vitamins, guys. <clears throat> they ain't looking like good old batch of ice cold vitamin C. <clears throat> I like it. All right. Welcome to the podcast. My name is Mike. My main channel is the Dog Man. But anything I do here, don't hold it against me there. It's like I said, I'm fired up this morning. Don't know why. Have you ever just woke up and been fired up about something? Maybe it was a dream. Maybe you, you went in a time machine the night before, you know, while you were sleeping and seen things and analyzed them. Well, maybe that's what happened. <coughs> all right, get the coughs and the itches and all that out of the way. Get another drink of coffee. Mm. Mm. Let's get another sip. Okay, I want to thank everybody for coming over yesterday. We got over 50 new subscribers. Maybe some of you are ones that were already subscribed to this channel. They didn't see me put anything on here for a long time. Said the hell with him. And deleted it. Unsubscribed. Well, I think I gained some new ones anyway. All right, I'm going to talk about something this morning. We're going to try to make this within 15 minutes. Cloneism. Yeah, like what is that? I got to remember to look right here because this is that little men in black camera. Everybody in the United States, probably the world, other than your small third world countries, which we're becoming, is pretty much a clone of each other. By that I mean, you have a house that looks exactly like your neighbor's. You live in a neighborhood where everybody has a cookie cutter house. Looks the same. Your town looks just like the next town. You got your Starbucks, your McDonald's, your strip shopping centers with the same stores. I don't find that enjoyable at all in this day and age and you know what the answer is to all that shut down all schools take your kids out of school homeschool them teach them what they need to know yes we need colleges and that for doctors i've ran this through my head what other profession do we need we don't need lawyers think about the concept of being a lawyer you got a guy that killed somebody, comes to you and says, I want to get off. I want to get off of these charges. That lawyer's going to, even though that lawyer knows you're guilty of sin, he's going to work for you. He's going to lie for you. We don't need him. Just 150 years ago, we didn't have everything we have today. We did not. Education has ruined this country. Look at the politicians then. Look at the politicians now. They're professional liars. School teaches kids to lie. School teaches kids to do things that are immoral. School teaches kids to do things that we don't need. Everything that is taught in colleges can be taught better if the parents would take the time in the military. Put them in the military. Military has some of the best teaching practices. Well, it did. I don't know about today. But the military has some of the best. I mean, they could take a two-year course in college and put it into an eight-week school. And you learn it. And you learn it well. Because they pound it into your head. They teach you the basics. It, and when you come out of a military school, you know what you're doing. And they do that to 17, 18-year-old kids. I'm not saying the military is for everybody, but it is one college that a lot of people don't think of. And you can get continued education. 
Now, I'm not on here to be a recruiter. I'm just saying that's one other option. Uh, they can actually lower the age to get in the military to maybe 15 or 16. Not saying they would go to combat if needed, but for education purposes. So that's something to think about. And uh, clonism. Look around, guys. Look on videos. Go to a city. Look at all these kids today walking around with that mop hairdo. It, they look like mops. It's a little mushroom thing on their head. That's They get permanence. These boys are getting permanence and wearing little mops that look ridiculous. Yes, we, had, we all had our fads growing up. But that one takes the cake. And I look at that. I'm like, what is with this haircut? You go to the grocery store. The stock boy's got that little mop hairdo, and I just want to go, what possessed you to get that? A mop hairdo. Come on. It's called clonism. His buddy's got one, so he's going to go and get one. He's going to go sit. I don't know how they do it, but it looks like a permanent to me. They put them little things and foil in their hair, and these boys are sitting there in a beauty parlor getting those hairdos. That boy needs to be in the military. Yeah, he does. And the military just isn't about war and fighting. It's education. You know, I learned a lot in there. I know I'm probably just talking to deaf ears because people are set in their ways. But look at the things that have changed in the past 150 years. Um, we don't need millions and millions of educated, overeducated people walking around this planet. We just don't. That has done nothing but create problems. The average house today is $450,000. I still laugh at that. What kind of people are paying these prices? I paid $10,500 for mine. I live just as well as you. You don't have to live like that. And you're paying this to live in an area, in a neighborhood, where you have an HOA, and they are telling you what you can drive, what you can have in your yard, what you can do, how your house has to look, how many windows you need. I, it, people have become numb to other people running their lives, and I've always been against that. The only time I have ever lived in a city was when I had no choice. Um, and by no choice, I mean, uh, when I worked for major newspapers in big cities and when I couldn't find a place far enough away where I didn't have to live in the city, I would have to like Denver. I, had, I lived in downtown Denver. I actually didn't mind it then. Denver was, this was in 2097 to 2001. Denver was nothing like it has become today. Uh, Denver is, I, I look at these videos of these people in Denver, downtown, showing all these homeless people. I used to walk those streets. You know, I, I lived in a high rise. Uh, I sold my vehicle because they wanted $250 a month to park in the garage. So I sold it. I took the bus, but I walked a lot. I remember these streets. And they're filled with homeless people now because of politicians, stupid policies put in place, $450,000 houses. And some of these houses, depending where you are, that are $450,000, they're not much. And if you want to build a closet like I want to do or add an addition to your house, guess what? You got to go ask and get permits to do so. You got to get permission so you have been educated all your life to be able to afford a house to live like that. So you can ask permission and usually get denied whatever you want to do. Or it's going to cost you thousands of dollars to get a permit to do what you want to do. That's not life, folks. That is not life. It's far from it. And I don't... My parents live in one of them neighborhoods. You know, I've been there one time. I drove through, and I'm like, they, the first thing they do, this is in Oklahoma, a suburb of Tulsa, I won't mention where, but I grew up there. First thing they do when they start a neighborhood is they rip out every piece of vegetation, every tree. 
Then they got maybe two, three styles of homes you can pick from in the models. And so you pick yours, and immediately it's put up so quick. My parents are having so much trouble with their foundation, uh, with windows, doors, the foundation's bad. I guarantee you they didn't put rebar in the concrete, and I asked him uh, about he says, yeah, they didn't put it in the driveway. I said, well, if they didn't put it in the driveway, they didn't put it in the foundation. And he said, yeah, but they got inspectors. Well, you can pay them guys off. And it's one of the biggest home builders in the country. So you know they get away with more than a smaller builder would. So those are the things you face. If, if you build your own house, you know what you got. But if you don't build it or you're not you're not supervising while they're building it, you don't know anything about what you got. Uh, you know, and, and they paid an astronomical price for it. I just could never do that. I would rather be debt free, own my house, even though to city people it doesn't look good, and and work on it myself, electrical, plumbing, all of that. I did all my own electric in here. I'm not a certified electrician. But I did have several years in the construction trades where I was around electricians. I even helped some of them. So I learned some things, and, and a lot of it was trial and error. But I got it done, and the place ain't burnt down yet. Uh, plumbing, that is something not everybody can do. But you know what? There's enough videos today. You can do it. So I'm for closing all the, maybe let the kids, I wouldn't let the kids go to a public school, period. Any educated parent can teach, and by educated I mean they learn through their life. But you get to a certain age, you've learned a lot of things that you didn't learn in school. You learn more on the outside of school than you will ever learn in school. And now in school they got their cell phones. I can't believe they're allowed to have cell phones. They're in there all day on their cell phones. These kids aren't learning nothing. They don't even teach cursive writing anymore. What else aren't they teaching? And what have they taken away and added to an agenda, a woke agenda that they're teaching your kids? Uh, a lot of them don't want to work when they get out. They don't have any... <laughs> they, they, they just don't want to work. I was watching a video in China. They just lay down. They're called, I forget what you call them, but... To protest that they don't want to work, they just lay down. They go out in the street and lay down. What does that do? A guy like me will run you over. <laughs> but I do remember when I went to school, anything after fifth grade is pretty much repeat rents. Repeat rents. School has become nothing but a babysitting, a daycare. And that is all it is. They're not teaching you anything good. You get 21-year-old teachers fresh out of school. You know, there's school shootings. We're, we didn't have that. If you had a beef with somebody, you'd meet them out behind the gym. That's what you did. Not now. There is no more settling things that way. And I won't get into that. That's my opinion, guys. The world has, uh, everybody is a clone. So if that is the way you want to be, then, and you're happy with that, fine. But ain't nothing ever going to get better in this world until we change the way the things are going. And they're not going well. You know, I don't, I don't dwell on the news, but I get on there every morning, see if we've blown each other up yet. If we haven't, then I go about my day. Think about it. And I'm not saying pull your kids out of school. If, if, if you don't have a high IQ, then we don't have no business teaching them. But you can teach, still teach them how the world really is. You know, you get out of kids today getting out of school. What are their options for jobs? I mean, that, everything's overseas now. Everything is made overseas. You go through your house. And you pick out the products that are made in China and put them out in the front yard and see what you got left. You ain't going to have much left in your house. You get those people screaming, hey, I buy all American. I highly doubt you do. 
And if you think it's made in America, I guarantee you most of the parts were not. So, I don't know what the, you know, it's not for me to figure out because I'm, a, I'm only going to be here another maybe 20 years, if I'm lucky, 30. So, it's for the younger people to figure out. But my, what I see is schools are worthless. They're a waste of taxpayers' money. Kids aren't getting... Need vitamins. I've been talking about my vitamins away. Kids aren't getting what they need in a public or private school. Doctors. That is it, man. That's all we really need educated. You know, you want to be an airline pilot? You don't go to college for that. You go to a flight school. Lawyers, we don't need them. We don't need them. Got to redo... Go back to the old days where if you did a crime, your butt's in jail. You're rotten there. Not now. This thinking, oh, no bail. I shake, I shake my head every day. It what, what this country, we're a laughing stock of the world. The laughing stock. Oh, my God. And when our leaders get up to speak, we are a bigger laughing stock and that needs to change thanks for watching guys i hope i kind of ticked a few of you off but that's what these morning coffees are going to be about so either have a tough skin uh, they're my opinion my opinion i know a lot of you my age a lot of you that are younger agree with me so let me know what you think in the comments make sure you subscribe like or unlike i tail it i tail it now because i'm gonna get real Happy Trails. Be sure to check out Dogman Channel too. That guy does some crazy things.